Okay, so what we did from previous experiments was produce this stuff, which is the uh, graphene oxide in solution. And there's about 60 millilitres of it there, and it's this nice golden brown colour. Now, what we're going to do now with it, because um, what we need really is uh, quite a lot of graphene as opposed to graphene oxide, is we have to um, reduce it back to graphene. Now, there are quite a few ways of doing this, um, but most of them use uh, hydrazine, which is um, rocket fuel and uh, a restricted substance and uh, quite dangerous to use. But there is an alternative, and the alternative is um, vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Now, I struck on this because I did um, ascorbic acid reduction of copper oxide to copper metal in a previous video, and it occurred to me that if that was the case, then surely ascorbic acid would be able to reduce graphene uh, oxide back to graphene, and sure enough, it can. So what we need is um, 200 millilitres of our graphene oxide solution, and you need to put it in a jar because... Uh, the, it's a little bit stinky, not too bad, but uh, better off if you can put a lid on it. And you take some ascorbic acid and you add basically one teaspoon of ascorbic acid to that. And as I say, ascorbic acid is just vitamin C, so you don't really need to worry about it. And chuck your teaspoon in there. Give it a swirl around to make that ascorbic acid dissolve. And in order to stop that um, clumping up too much and to help the reaction to go properly, what you need to do is add a little bit of ammonia to it. Now this is ordinary household ammonia, which is between 5 and 10 percent, and you need to add 2 millilitres to that. So it's a 100 to 1 ratio, there's a 200 millilitres of um, graphene oxide here, and we add 2 millilitres of our ammonia to it. And that's all there is to it. Now, what we need to do with that now is heat it, and we've got two options with that. Now, I'm going to put it in my nice new sonicator. I, I bought this, it was um, £60, I think. It's a 50-watt sonic bath sonicator, and the good thing about it is it has an on-off button. So all I have to do is turn it on, and it will sonicate away. And you pop it in the sonicator water bath, and turn it on and leave it for an hour. Now that's one alternative. The other alternative is if you don't have a sonicator and don't want to buy one, then you can um, make up a water bath on your stove with a pan, some water, heat it to 80 degrees and pop it in that water bath for an hour at 80 degrees. And sure enough it will bubble away and um, go black. Now it's about 20, 30, 20 minutes into it, 30 minutes into it, it'll go black. And it forms this, this really nice dark black solution. This is um, graphene, and that's graphene in water, and that's what we're going to need for our later experiments. So as I say, mix up those three things, pop it in your sonicator, turn your sonicator on, and wait for an hour.